and taxes. What more positive things can we talk about? I'm Adam Hamalian. And I'm Sherry Hutchins. And this is The Real Story with Adam and Sherry, where we talk about all things real estate. Topic was prompted by a conversation you had at quilt classes last week. Do you want to uh, share the conversation you had with your friend? Yes, I had uh, one of my fellow quilters come up to me and say that she would really like to move to Rossmore, but she's been living in her home her uh, for the last 40 years, and she has a really low tax basis. And if she moves to Rossmore, um, she said that her tax basis is going to go up, you know, five, six, seven times, and she can't afford it. Um, Let's talk about that, because it was a change that opened up some doors for people. One of the things that's affecting our housing crisis and the just kind of the crunch of no inventory is that we have, like your friend, uh, single people living in a longtime family home that's really probably bigger than what they want um, yeah. or need and they'd like to move, but their property tax is set either pre um, Prop 13 or just affected by that. Yeah. And so they, so say they bought it for, let's say 200,000 and now their house is worth 2 million. That that's um, there's a couple things going on. We'll talk about capital gains another one, but if they go buy a similar house, now they're going to pay more um, even if they're downsizing for property tax. So tell me a little bit more about how the, how does that prop 19 work? Um, mm -hmm. Does it, there, what, you know, do you have to be a certain age or um, tell me more yeah. about it? There's a couple different ways that it can work, um, but primarily, especially for this person, um, you have to be 55 plus and you generally have to buy a house equal to or less than the property that you're selling. There is an exception to that rule. I won't go into all the details here, but you can buy something that's more expensive um, and still take part of your tax basis with you. Um, and it used to be that, as she said, that it was only four counties. It was actually six counties, and none of them were any place that you would want to live um, if you were used to living in the Bay Area. Um, so now all 58 counties in California have to participate in this tax basis transfer program, aka Proposition 19. And the other thing that people generally don't know is that you can do it in reverse. So you can go off and buy your house in Rossmore or wherever, move into it, and then sell your um, previous home. And after that sells, then you do your tax transfer. Um, so it's pretty easy. You have to be 55 plus and, you know, find another home and move into it. Is there a time frame that you, between buying and selling, um, that you have yeah, to do? I think it's two years. Oh, oh, so plenty of time to find a replacement home. Plenty of time. It's not like a 1031 exchange where you have 45 days, you know, and you're running around with your hair on fire trying to find a property, especially in this market where there's no inventory. You've got two years to complete your tax basis transfer.